welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be planting some classic tropical plants in my garden. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Coming at number one is the orange torch ginger. I love ginger in general because it brings such a tropical element into the garden and they come in different forms and shapes. This one has to be my favorite because not only of the huge bold leaves, but look at the flower. It's white at the top and it fades to an orange when it goes lower part of the flower. I'm absolutely in love with this ginger. I never grew it personally in my garden before, but once I saw it at Lowe's, I had to snag one up and bring it in my garden because I absolutely love it and I would love it to multiply here in this area. So it loves full sun, loves humid and tropical areas. It likes to be planted in boggy areas as well. And make sure you plant it in a good area where it can multiply, expand and get bigger. So. This is the orange torch ginger. Coming at number two is the classic marigold. Marigolds grow so well down here and their vibrant colors brings multiple pollinators into the garden. I also love how they also keep mosquitoes away because of that very fragrant smell that marigolds have. And so although I don't like the smell of marigolds, I would prefer to have the mosquitoes away. So super, super easy to grow these. These are full sun loving plants, could deal with tropical or drought areas. It prefers some space because it does get more bushier and produces more flowers as it grows. So make sure you provide a good amount of space for it to grow. It can be combined with other uh, combination of flowers, but if you leave it, leave it alone and it does its thing, it will get really, really big bushy and it will produce multiple, multiple hundreds and hundreds of flowers for you after every season. This is considered an annual, but in my season or in my climate, it's considered a perennial. Coming at number two is a classic lantana. I've never really grown lantana because I've seen it grow really, really big and really, really bushy. So I never really was a fan of it. But once I saw this yellow color and I was going with a more tropical theme, I said I was gonna go with some lantana and keep it under control. Cause lantana can be kept under control if you keep trimming it and deadheading it, it will stay as a nice, nice neat small plant so that's what i'll be doing this year and this is a yellow it comes in different colors from whites pinks uh reds and yellows and oranges you name it there's probably a lantana and that lantana lantana in that color so i'm going with lantana this year and i'm super super excited it's considered a perennial but also annuals in multiple different growing zones zones eight and below and above we could grow this throughout the entire year next i'm growing celosia celosia or amaranth can be grown in my area amaranth is used for its edible and cut flower purposes celosia is more for landscaping and adding color into the garden celosia does not get that big it can get up to one foot tall and that's about it because celosia tends to stay more compact than amaranth and it tends to get more bushier than actually taller so i'm going with an orange celosia this year which i'm really really excited about so let's go ahead and move on to the fifth and final plant finally is curcuma ginger i love ginger once again and it brings such a tropical look this one's more different than the orange torch ginger because this one has smaller blooms and it has a more thinner leaf I love this one, it stays bushy as well and makes multiple flowers as well. It does come back every year as well as as well as the other ginger. This is a full sun loving plant, loves boggy and tropical areas, loves well draining soil as well. It can handle well draining or it can handle a bit more boggy or humid areas. Ginger is my personal favorite because it's a fantastic performer and I love, love, love the flowers. So let me go ahead and go through and plant these plants and We'll go ahead and wrap up the video. So that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you found it informative and entertaining. May God bless you and your entire family and never forget to grow big ultimate gardeners. Bye everyone.